This effort, this project, was really a means to activate the property at large as studio space for visiting artists. When we talk about Wave Farm's focus and this idea of the genre of transmission art, we talk about artists who are experimenting with the airwaves and the act of transmission. We talk about the installations as being standalone works of art, but also instrumentation for visiting artists. When we give people a tour, the first one they encounter is a project called Pond Station. And this is a little structure floating on the first pond, uh, which has an underwater microphone revealing the hidden sounds from within the pond. You can either listen to it as a sound sculpture, or you can perform with it as an instrument. We had always intended to be solar powered. It wasn't until we started working with Suncommon and discovered that we could not only power the property here, all the installations, but through remote net metering, we could also offset the incredible consumption at our radio station's tower site. And it was a dream come true. One thing that struck me on my very first visit to Wave Farm was how many of the pieces, the individual pieces of transmission art that I saw, were actually already powered by solar. There is a rich history of the arts in the Hudson Valley. So to see a campus that is based upon transmission arts, I mean, this is a perfect expression of how renewables are a key component, not just to for-profit businesses, moving the margin and saving money here and there. Solar energy right now is going to power the next generation of researchers and artists who are gonna use this space to make their art.